Runa City Hator versus AC Germany. Runa City Hator at home, while AC Germany have their first away game of the campaign. Runa City Hator have opted to drop Milandalev in for Matravoski, the captain, sitting right behind Bizaki as striker. Miki Kazwaki on the left, while well, Abbas will be on the right with Fesa Vashrak in the attacking mid. Feina as a left back, Kira Tatsuya as a right back, and I see Hator is going for a more risky formation. Only two center backs here for a tie, the tie defender, Pemba Takashi, and Kamalanga serves as a defensive mid. Mishayanta as the goalkeeper. Otherwise, on the other hand, AC Germany are going pretty standard. Pedro Ricci a striker with Golub starting in the middle, and Resio makes a rare start as well. Netred as a left mid with D square and as a right mid. And Lockett will remain as the starting center mid. Domizzi as a left back, Mondrosini as a right back with center backs Berengona and Flio Camarano. And Sorrentino will be taking Palunca's spot as a goalkeeper. No introductions for this game, we're getting right into it. It's a great ball from Veshrock and Ruta City Hator. They had something cooking there. Gala winning it against Kamalanga there. And now AC Germany are being commanded to keep it calm for the moment. Baron going and moving forward. That's good work so far. I'm just saying, barely saving that. Squaring now coming into the middle. Squaring. And that's a great transition. Here's Domizzi. Domizzi gets the cross on the way. And Pedericci unable to get there. It's Kamalanga moving forward. Now Feina. Bizaki. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, just a little too much for Mitrovsky there. Had the right idea. That was very risky. All right, here's Madrasini. Let's get it past his man. Lock it now. Increasing the tempo. Tempo's a little slow, but very much, I guess, that's according to plan. Cross is coming in, Golub unable to get there, and it is cleared out. Here's Lockett. Lockett on his left, and that's the save from Mishayata. Decent shot from the number six. I'll be swearing to whip this one in. Golub gets a head on it. Here's Resio. Oh, Resio with the shot is blocked. Here's Golub, and he's blocked as well. And they know they gotta come back. Even Resio's coming back as well. They know that the Hatorians are very much overpopulated in terms of attacks. Here's Resio. Resio over to Square, that's great vision. And now here's the Square, but he doesn't get a good catch on it. Yeah, that shot was very timid. That was the chance to put AC Germany ahead. Machavoski. Good move from Tatsuya. Abbas now stopped. Tatsuya. Now Domitsi. Receiving the end of that. Square now. And Resio, he does get past. Zervar tie. Resio trying something there. Doesn't work out, but we're still going. There's Resio. Resio had a decent cross there going. Oh, no, that is good. And Golub unable to get there. And pass was not it. Resio trying something there. Loses it, and now here's Lockett. Lockett with the chance, and it is off of the Hatorian defense. 
Ooh, Abbas now with a lot of space with that missed time challenge. Now Abbas is still going. Abbas hits the post. And now it's Machavoski. Good control. And now it's coming in. And Sorrentino makes a simple save. Yeah, that's all they mean business. They did lose out on three points. Um, to Victoire, and of course Victoire are a very, very tough team, especially this season so far. Marduseni, Marduseni, great switch, and Square now trying to find somebody there. And Mishayata comes through for that. I think that was a cross, but it looked like a shot. It's a great ball. Here's Bazaki now, spreads it on over to Kazuaki. Kazwaki, great tackle. I think that was Kamarana with the tackle. Now it's coming in, swinging forth. Tatsuya. Still Tatsuya. Bizaki now! Oh wow, what a shot that was. How about it all from Bizaki? Just can't afford to give this guy an inch today. He's on top four, and that was such a clean structure. Yeah, that was a lucky foul, I'd say. Back to Domitzi. Here's Lockett. Lockett getting past his man in superb fashion. Here's Squaring. Spreads it magnificently. Looking for it. And he does get there. Oh, man. He had the opportunity. I'm not sure what he did there. This time's the ball there, and Abbas with a lot of space. Abbas, decent cross, and it's out. Good defending. Moves the ball upwards, and Netred does keep it in play. I'm not sure what happened, or almost happened there. Here's Astrodal now. Can he find a finish? And now Domitzi finds Pedericci, but he misses the target. It's not like it when the miss chances like that. What a great chance for close range. That header really should have been in the net. with a lot of space. Here's Kamalanga. Matravoski. Not the best now! And Sorrentino comes through. Garcia. Risky spread, but it works. <laughs> now here is Squaring. And Manta just played on the singing. Now Domizzi with the shot that was easily taken care of. This. Still Tatsuya. level, but just five minutes to go to half time. Gonna pass two men there. A shot. A shot now. And that's good from Feyna. On his A game today. Here's Resio. He is pushing off the ball. Legally. Nazir Vertai. Tatsuya to Abbas. Bishrak. That was poor play from Bishrak. Was straight to the opposition there. It's a good spread from the all over square now. And now he finds Petter Ritchie. He receives it really well. And Takashi does spill it. And it works out. Messi collects. 
The foul called on Kamalanga. The foul, the foul called on Kamalanga. It's a being warned. That is the end of the first half. Chances more from Hator. Saw the chances coming from Hator more often than AC Germany, but nonetheless, it is a very tight game. So, it's 0-0. Let's hope for a goal or two in the second half. Lazy Boots over United. Mohi can over Longodez. Damn. Uh, Hardessa and Bozadez tied. Hardessa with another tie. Ramonta against Mass Story. Okay. Wunderschön and Victoire are tied. Interestingly enough, Gravona and Westfield are tied. Pez United and Specialista are tied. We United and Mardon Italiano tied. Interesting. All right. Go on to the second half. So, off we go. In the best the interest, we'd like to get the three points. It's very early in the campaign. Garcia just losing it out there. Dangerous position, but things work out. does see that run. And Metro with a lot of space. It's a decent cross! Oh, what a save! What a save from Mishayata! That's an incredible save, but here we go again. It's square now. It's a decent cross. Resio unable to get behind it. It's a great turn. Trying to find Resio. It is Resio, but it's right to Mishayata. Today. That was an incredible save from score or from the goalkeeper there on Squarn's header. Good settle. Here's Astragali. Oh, that's a great tackle. It's a good stab. with the one-timer. Here's Netred! It's just across the face of the goal. Oh, Gala just taking too long on that. Come on, Longa. Come through. Very much a violent interception there by Camarano. Great one touch play from Resio. And here is Resio! It's right to Michiata. Zawaki picks up the scraps of the Shrock now to Machabaski. I'm best now. I'm best! Oh, what a save from Sorrentino. That's a great save. I mean, our best is very much a deadly player, as you can see. Domizzi was nowhere close with that challenge. Cheering Bowden for Resio, and both of the Ritchie brothers are playing on the field. To the target in the center. Oof, great work. Sturdy defense. Oh. Dumps it forward. Now it's over for Netra. It's Petter Ritchie. Petter Ritchie bullied off the ball there by Vishrock. To the last half hour of the game. Kodu Kanji comes in for Kazuaki. I think he's become frustrated with his teammates for not getting the ball up to him, so he's been forced to go deep, and that's led to the bench. That's a good spread. Here's Netra now. Now 
was cheering Bone over the bar. Oof. Too much on it. Definitely a pass that had a little too much zest in it, I would say. Hasn't had much of an impact. And Gollum should have dribbled more close to Michiate. Kodo Kanji does get past Mojutseni. Kanji's still going. It's still Kanji. It's a good cross. Oh, the clearance. And that is a foul. A nasty one. Germany. They were just very much persistent and it has paid off against a very, very tough side who has had the unfortunate of having zero points so far because they went against the two top teams of the league. AC Germany, they have to be careful though. It is very much not over. There's still so much to go through. He's cheering ball. Now it's square with a lot of space. And that is a foul on the game. Just like this. And Kanji will be warned probably for that. He's having a word with him, but it's only a warning. He needs to be careful though with his tackling. This looks dangerous. Uh, over. Ooh, it's a save from Michiata. Not sure if that was necessary though. Sort of going out, but I guess no chances need to be made. It's coming in. Going right to Michiata. That is intercepted by Menzona Ritchie. Golub, and it's a great tackle there by the defense. Golub receives. It's a little too short for cheering Will. Fena. That's great from Netchet. Very much proactive in intercepting that ball. And now it is Astrid Golub, and Michiata makes it a sort of comfortable save. That's right, good defending. That's right, still on it. Great pressing from him. Running aggressively at that defense. That's right, hitting it back. Here's Menzona Ritchie. Looks like a sub to back. And yeah, it's on the floor. Not very threatening. Whistle goes. I think that is a foul. This is a Calling in for Richie Jales and Milan, the left coming as well. That tread getting off the ball here. It's coming along and moving forward. Still coming along. Come along and being pressed. He surrenders possession. job in maintaining the ball. And the ball back to the goalkeeper. That 
Hudson's a little more rich with a lot of space. There's an older Sonny. He's in the box. And the zero tie comes up strong. The final whistle is approaching, and there's only one goal in it here. It's a good tackle. Wins the ball back there very neatly. <laughs> Very desperate challenge there. Yeah, that'll be an ace to Jimmy's favor. Calmly done. Back it goes. It's good work. Great chemistry. And the attempted through ball for Shao Kong fails. And falls to a with feet. Here's the run that we're all waiting for. Here's Squarin, the Squarin, and Golib unable to get there. Good attempt, regardless. Kanji. Kamalaga. And on he goes. And that is a loss. And that is the end of the game. AC Gemini walk away with three points thanks to a goal from Peter Ritchie in the 67th play. Disappointing for Hattori. They did fight quite a bit, but AC Gemini were just a little bit more ambitious and they got that needed goal. Keep this one going for as long as possible. They still need to keep their feet on the ground, though. Look, we didn't see them at their football and best, but there was an underlying determination there, and it helped them to pull through. My thanks go to Jim, and it's now time for us to leave tonight's coverage. We both wish you a very good evening. Yeah, left footed shot from that tread wasn't very strong. Good save from Sorrentino, man. The defense was slacking, man. That's exactly what happened. I didn't even know Richie was going to get to that. Let's see. Lazy Boots, three points against Emma United. Mohi can't win against Longo Dez. That's an upset. Hardesser with another tie against Bozadez. Well, another tie. That's against Bozadez. Momonta with the win against Mastori. Wow, Victoire dropped points. Westfield win over Bravona. Pez United Specialista 2 2. And We United and Mardon Italiano both dropped points as well. And in the match, Astrid Golub played the 90 minutes. And that's up for him. Katerichi with the 6.5 despite the goal. And the defense, all, most of them get a 5.5. Lockett also was pretty strong. Resio played pretty well. Definitely was very much needed. He was a dangerous player. He's always a dangerous player. Five for Feyna. He did have a decent shot. And Landa Luck with the 6 played only 10 minutes. So, yeah. That was, that's something for sure. All right, that's the end of this.